let's learn how to use the Create Droplet feature in Photoshop. In this example, we are going to imagine that you are a photographer who frequently uploads your images to the web. And one of the things that really bother you is that you need to resize each image manually. In this video, you will learn how to automate this process and much more. Before we begin, let's take a glance at what a droplet is. On my desktop, I have this odd Photoshop icon that's a .exe, and this is a droplet. It's essentially a shortcut that opens Photoshop and performs an action that you've assigned to it. In my example, I have named this one Resize for Web. And now if I open my original folder of images, which are at a resolution of 5000 by 3000 pixels, and drag them collectively onto this icon, Photoshop will open and start resizing my images into a chosen destination. In just a few seconds, Photoshop has resized all four of my images and now I'm ready to upload them to the web. How cool is that? And you can do it too. We can start by opening any of the original images. It truly doesn't matter which one. Then go to Window, Actions. This panel will essentially allow you to record the actions that you take while it's recording so that you can assign it to something like a droplet or use it at a later stage. Create a new folder, name it custom actions. Now I'm going to press the plus icon and name this one resize to 1280 by 720 web. Hit record and now take the exact steps to resize this particular image. So I'll go to image image size and scale this uniformly to 1280 pixels on the width. Press OK. Go to File, Save As. Save it as a JPEG in the folder you like your resized images to be. I have a folder already made on the desktop. That's done. And now I can press the little square icon to stop the recording. Now make sure to delete the file you've just saved in the resized images folder as this was only temporary. I can now exit this image without saving it. And once you're back on the welcome screen, you can go to File, Automate, Create Droplet. For Save Droplet In, we will choose the desktop as this is where the icon will be saved. We can rename it to Resize in the file name and press Save. In Destination, we want to select Folder and then choose to save those converted files into a new folder. Resized images is a folder that I've already created on my desktop beforehand. Then make sure the override action save as commands is selected so that the first line is set to document name and the second is set to extension. Make sure the right action is selected and finally select OK and go back to your desktop. You'll see a new Photoshop icon that's shaped like an arrow and from here, you can drag your original images directly on the icon so that Photoshop can process them. And this was designed on me.